I'm in the van. It's bedtime. <laughs> so we put this on. It looks warm. It's quite warm. And where are we? Gloucester <laughs> Services. We're in the van. Oh, we're in the van. I thought that was obvious. How's the rigging going? Oh, great. Rigged. Yeah, voila. Oh, floating bed. And then all our junk's just under there. Great. And when we're up here, apart from just this bit here, it kind of feels like the van's finished. Because also, we don't usually see this because we put up a curtain here. That's what these are for. And it just makes a little bedroom area. Yeah, so this is it finished. We've got a curtain. So when we go out in and out the door, door, you don't really see anything. So if anyone's just being nosy, you don't see there's a bed already made up. And when we go through, let's try and take the camera in. Da, 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 da. There's the bed. Welcome to the bedroom. Oh, Look, it looks finished like that. It's great. Just don't point the camera on that wall. Because it's not really finished. Ah, oh, silver. Um, yeah, we're still in Gloucester Services. Apparently it's, what is it, 25 quid? To stay overnight is 25 quid, so... I don't think so. No. It's weird, because it's completely empty. Like, yeah. What well, waste of space. Yeah. So no, we'll just go to a street. 25 quid, I mean, for that you could probably get an Airbnb, so what's the point? <laughs> Make it 10 pounds and then more people might stay. Or any. I can't or imagine there'll be pounds. any. One pound. D a pound. <laughs> 50 p. They have a shower though. They do have a they shower. Do have, the showers are pretty good, so that's exciting, because we're they not going to have a shower. Not in the van anyway. We will be showering. <laughs> no, we won't have one in the van. I'm never going to shower again. <laughs> Our napkins have been cleaning happy faces since 1971. Uh, Costa, I think it's time to get some new napkins. Ah, trying to work out a better bed design. So, this is interlocking things and yeah, this is how we design stuff. We just mock it up and figure it out. Where are we now? Mocking a mocker. <laughs> hey, here it is again. Oh no. <laughs> Back to that again. But look, it's got a new logo. A new look for Celotex that has to go on there. Now, when we're in bed, we decided we want a shelf here, we think. So I'm going to do a little experiment, see if I can make a nice shelf. Because I've got to take all this down anyway, because it's too far forward. And what are you doing? Ah, uh, this again. <laughs> Hooray! B&Q car park days again. Oh yeah, they love us. No! Oh God! Why are we still doing this after five months? What a lot of rubbish! Most people get Celotex done straight away. We like to carry on as much as possible and prolong the Celotex experience. That's what this is all about. Where are we? Uh, Tesco. What time is it? Seven o'clock <laughs> in the night. Stealth fan build. Very stealth. After closing the door five times. <laughs> And I'm just like perched on here because there's not much room when we've got our stuff. I imagine if it just all built itself. Itself. <laughs> it's a self build. Just building itself. You don't have to do anything. You're just there watching. It even makes you a cup of tea when you're there watching. It's quite nice. We can't have a cup of tea. Self build. <laughs> the answer. <laughs> Oh, look what it is again. What is it? It's a bloody ruddle. A lot of bloody ruddles. <laughs> you can tell it's van life. Two, but what is it? 8.99. Live life, van life. We did it together. Well, actually, I did it on my own, but that's all right, because you did all of that on your own. <laughs> so, it's fine. And there we go, double layer of I've finished my prototype, I'll show you. I, I think it's good. Here it is. Hello, I'm a prototype. <laughs> How do you think of me? I think all bands need one of these. Oh dear. Alright, where's summer gone? Oh my god, this is so grim. Look at it! Look at it! I'm also pretty sure there's a little hole in the roof. It's not really leaking, I don't think it will leak, but I saw it. Oh my god, it's getting worse. Look. It's like a river. 
it's not exactly getting better. I'm noticing it's that it's hailing. It's hailing, but look, no. it's getting more and more floody. Can you see hail? hail? There's a hail. A hail. There's a hail. A hail. Look at the puddle that's forming. It's a bit worrying. Ah, so I'm now totally going backwards. I've taken all the cladding off. I've labelled it all up, so I can work on getting this front right. And then, because these need to fit, and they weren't. You can see how I did the curved wall bit. I just kind of lay it up to try and make it so it went to the top. But then it comes down here. Easy. First thing I've got to deal with though is this. This is a rounded screw head. Because these screws that came with these brackets are terrible. I just didn't even bother with this one. I've got another one over here. Um, and I looked online and apparently what you do is put an elastic band over and then you use a drill. And I guess the elastic band makes more friction. And let's see if it works and then I'll use a better screw. Bloody hell, it worked. Uh, I just found this elastic band on the street because I couldn't find one in the shop, so win! One-handed filming, will this work? Yeah, I think I can do it. So that'll go as like a fascia on there. Yeah, I'll make that look nicer. And then that'll come down and it'll go around this corner and then down there. And this will come all the way down and it'll make an arch here. That's the idea for the front. Let's see if I can pull it off. And there we have it. It's going to have doors on the front, but that's how it's going to look. And now I can put all these back on, because they'll go to there. Ah, winner. Yeah, and it's opened it up a little bit. I left a lip on it, because, well, these things slide around, there's no doors on, so that holds it in for now. But also, I don't know how I'm going to put the door on, and I don't really want all the force going onto the door. So, this will make anything sliding around hit the frame, rather than trying to open doors. I think that's the progress for today. I've got a few more bits back up, but the front's starting to be interesting. This is going to continue down here. Um, and then all, all this will be nice curtain. I'm going to do the same down here. Or maybe a bit different, not sure what's happening over there really. But yeah, I didn't really like this gap, but I'll fill it with something. It's a right pain to try and get it all working. I've messed around like mad to try and get these things the right, to make them straight and things. But yeah, quite happy with the progress. If you like the video, subscribe, comment, and always enjoy the journey.